Man, right. this is Please not no good for Kyle Bush Thank because you. of that downforce, that right front fender damage. He didn't need this to happen. That guitar. So Joey Logano. Oh, oh the crash along right. the front yeah. straightaway, including Stenhouse in 62 of Brendan Gaughan, the 15 of Michael Lynette. So the caution comes out again. Oh, no. It'll here be our 10th. Hey, look at all the damage and we got right here. This car's been upside down. This is Joe Nimmo. Take a look. Now. Boy, holy cow. He was Joe upside Star. down. Yeah, yeah, that car definitely. Whenever you can see the roof flaps, take a look. Here we go. Okay, he's looking inside of Mike Ooh. Lynette, and this wreck happens in front of them. There is the 16. He's already turned around. That all happened in front. Now, where's Joe Nemechek? Oh, oh, right my there. Gosh. Who got it? And, and it was the 16 with a Stenhouse. Good gracious. He ends up going over. Take another look. Oh. oh. Okay, does that qualify or everything's going to get crazy? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I think that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. On our picture right now, we take this action over as we see it from our camera position high in the grandstand. And look at the impact here as it hits. Great rubber tires protecting the end of the pit wall. Richmond up against the wall. Yep. Richmond up against the wall, car number 99. The car of Dave Marcus goes upside down. Remember, these are over 3,000 pound vehicles that you're seeing tossing themselves in the air here as if they were just lightweight toys. The wall is missing. There, just missed by Tim Richmond. The car stayed upright, and look at the size of that great earth mover tire. Well, it was moved right out of position by the vehicle of Dave Mark. I think once he gets out front, he's going to be pretty hard. I think he'll be somebody he's going to be tough to deal with. Jimmy Spencer was the first car lined up oh. on the inside, couldn't get a lap back. Oh, trouble down here. Who is that? Is that the 26 or it already? is? Amick. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. a car just turned down. One car just turned over. It's upside down on the back straightaway. It's Michael. 26 car back here. He gets around on his own. People start taking evasive action. He's coming down the hill. All of a sudden, here, here comes, comes Michael, Michael right there. Just there it goes. over the left front, catapults him upside down. Just turned him right over. Several cars involved. See the 26 car get around right there. Everybody's trying to crowd down to the bottom. Knowing he's going to go to the bottom of the right. racetrack. The 54 car. Yeah, Kevin Grubb Kevin is involved. Grubb. So is Casey Kane. Yates' car, Casey Kane, 98. Yeah, uh oh He tried to go on the outside. His car slides up. And there's an accident, but Spencer, huge accident in turn three and four. That embarrassing the crash. One car upside down. LaJoy. That is Randy LaJoy, the defending series champion, as he slides down on his roof in the FINA Chevrolet. Three cars in the wall, one upside down. There is the Glenn Allen car, what's left of the Bill Papke Luxair machine. He's moving around with his window net down. There's a channel lock car of Kevin LePage. Heavy damage both front and rear there on his Chevrolet. We're in Las Vegas. This is yesterday's race. It's the Bush Grand National. There's a six-car pileup. When Randy LaJoy in blue goes up on Dick Trickle, Randy LaJoy comes bouncing off the wall in Las Vegas. He goes across this brand new track upside down. Randy LaJoy won't soon forget his racing debut out in Las Vegas. Low side of the track. Jeff Bodine out of control. Jeff Bodine, the Levi Garrett Chevrolet. Jeff Bodine with a wild ride. He's on. Well, now the car rates itself very quickly. Museum piece. Here it is again. The car getting airborne. Now air gets in the car, turning it up sideways. It comes reverse side and then back down on its wheels. And now it will flip over onto its roof. And... Jeff Bodine holding on for dear life as Harry Gant slides by up in the top of your picture. The car sliding up across the track. Just be thankful that a couple of good driving maneuvers to keep other traffic from barreling into Bodine's car. Continues to slide now on its roof. You see the sparks spurring there from the top of the roof. Here's our turn one camera shooting as the car comes toward it. Traffic staying up high and Eli. It's just a miracle no one else was able to barrel into Jeff Bodine. It's going to be interesting to see what happened in our camera. We picked it up just a tad late as Jeff was already uh, out of control across the grass. 
Whoa, there he goes. Oh, there Bickles goes. around. And Earnhardt got oh, him, oh. and up and over goes the 21 of Quaffle. Another Richard Childress car. And this one is upside down. Ninth caution. Lap 183, so close to the finish. Again, when you get side by side, your car's a little loose. And you can see the back of Bickle's car just starting out right there. It's out a little bit, out a little bit. Up, it up, comes up. around. As the 26 car starts by on the outside, it just sucks that back in around. And there's Kerry Here Earnhardt. Kerry, who makes Ooh. slight contact. But here's the one. That, see, he's got the wheels turned, trying to go around Bickle's car, and the car just kind of pole vaults over on its side and then gets upside down. Just gets a little, just gets it loose up off that corner, and it, oh, that's real time, and it happens so fast. Crawford was a lap down in 21st position at the time. First oval track win. He won it in Finneon 96 races ago on the road course. And who Half do you? a second. And the 99 has turned over Brad Keselowski. And we have a caution. My goodness. I don't know if I'm okay. Kozlowski was on track for a sixth place finish. A little crossover move here by Carl. Clean here, clean here. Just slight contact. Oh, Look at that gosh. thing go. That looks so much like Edwards' turnover at, at Talladega, Talladega off the bumper of Kozlowski. The roof flaps deployed but it did not sit that car back down. I'm like you, Daryl. I'm going to be so glad to see that rear spoiler back on these cars. I think that's a, it's got to be something to that. That car took a hard hit in the left A pillar, the windshield post right in front of the driver. Good move by Mike Wallace on the inside the FTP brake Chevrolet back up front. Mark Martin has picked up where he left off before. One car spinning the car number 41. Johnny Benson has a car takes a roll as it slid backwards. The, apparently the air just picked the back end of it up and around. And but it looks like he might have been tagged by a car. Jerry, there was a pack of cars running together. And then it gets backwards. And, and you see the spoiler sticking up there. The air gets under it and lifts the back end up. And then it just starts rolling over in the grass area on the back stretch here at the Michigan International Speedway. Fortunately, it does not get over into that guardrail. But that's a pretty serious looking crash. But it lands on its wheels. Different angle again for that scary crash here in the early laps looking across the racetrack you see the rear of the car starting to get off the ground you'll get a sense of actually how high this car will lift here as it came off the ground and begins to tumble higher than some of the scaffolds there where our cameras are located well jerry the speeds have increased so much here at the michigan international speedway oh briscoe gets loose austin wayne self around heavy contact with the 99 of peters up and over There's the replay of the accident that brought out the final caution in the wild ride endured by Timothy Peters. It looked like the 22 of Austin Way self just got a little bit loose. Billy yep. Sutton having some problems. Getting spun around, excuse me, not upside down, spun around. <laughs> she was definitely upside down. You can see the damage to the roof of, that, of, of that truck. Looks like the four truck gets a little sideways. He might have made a slight bit of contact with the 10 there. With the 10 of Terry Cook. We see Kelly Sutton probably going to come along here with nowhere to go. You oh. see he made some hard contact with the left front of Chris Fontaine's, and that sent her up into the outside wall, and somehow her truck got upside down. Let's see if we can take another look at it. Watch the four truck. Kelly Sutton's going to come along and clip her. She was out of, out of control a little bit coming in there. You could see that she was just trying to recorrect. When right. she got into that four. Yeah, she was sideways. She had lost control coming in. You can see the radiator leaking there, but you're right. And there's no, no, Steve Griffin with that horrible crash and fire on the racetrack. Continue to work to get Steve out of the car. Here's the uh, Pennzoil copter cam shot.
And, and there we see Grissom. Him. There we see the gasoline. Look at all that gasoline when the ignites, when he hits the wall. And there we see Mike Wallace go through, ignite the gasoline, 